Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share today's topic Bacterial Plasmid and its types. So let's begin. This is the structure of bacterial cell. In previous videos, I have already discussed about what is cell wall, plasma membrane, cell inclusions like gas vacuoles, ribosomes, mesosomes, cytoplasm, etc. You can find the link of those videos in the description box below. Today, I will try to explain what is plasmid and its types. As we know, all bacterial cells possess nucleoid, which is a non-membranous, undefined, irregular shape area, contains a single loop of DNA. It controls all essential activities like replication, growth, regulation of genetic material, etc. Therefore, without nucleoid, bacterial cell cannot survive. Besides nucleoid, bacterial cell may also contain small, independent, self-replicating, circular loop of DNA. The DNA loop is called plasmid. The term plasmid was first coined by Joshua Lederberg in 1952. Plasmids are mostly found in bacteria but are also observed in a few archaebacteria and eukaryotic organisms also. Bacterial cell contains a certain number of plasmids. Smaller plasmids can be more in numbers whereas larger ones can be fewer in numbers. Each bacterial cell may contain approximately 1 to 20 copies of a plasmid. Now what is copy number of a plasmid? Number of plasmid copies within a bacterial cell known as a copy number of a plasmid. Plasmid does not depend on cell nucleoid for replication, rather uses cell machinery for replication like enzymes, protein, ribosomes of host cell. Thus, their replication is not linked to any particular stage of the cell cycle. That is why it is called independent genetic material. Plasmid can be circular or linear, but most known plasmids are circular. Linear plasmid can be seen in Streptomyces species and Borrelia species. Plasmids are also small in size. They usually have less than 30 genes. Bacterial cell can easily survive without a plasmid. So what is the role of plasmid in the cell? Plasmids usually carry at least one gene and many of the genes that provide an additional advantage to the host cell. Different types of plasmids carry out different genes that have various functions. So let's discuss plasmid types and their roles. The first type of plasmid is fertility plasmid, also known as F plasmid, then R plasmid, which is a resistance plasmid, virulence plasmid, degradation plasmid, and bacteriocinogenic plasmid, which is also known as Collison plasmid. F plasmid or fertility plasmid. This plasmid harbors transfer genes, which is a TRA gene that allows bacteria to transfer genes from one cell to another through the conjugation process. Bacteria that contains F plasmid known as F dash or F positive bacteria, whereas Bacteria lacking F plasmid is known as F negative bacteria. In the process of conjugation, DRA gene enables the formation of pilus that act as a bridge between two cells for gene transfer. Then F plasmid nicked in one strand and this strand transferred to the other cell. That is how F bacteria conjugates with an F negative bacteria and result is two F positive bacteria. It is important to note that there can only be one F plasmid in each bacteria. Resistance plasmid. When plasmid carries such genes that provide bacterial cell, the ability to resist antibiotic activity is called resistance plasmid. Plasmid may carry one or more genes to resist different antibiotics. As our plasmid counterattacks antibiotic action, this property also makes bacteria virulent because in such case antibiotics cannot kill bacteria and bacteria then cause the disease. Resistance plasmid may also provide resistance against heavy metals like arsenic, cadmium, mercury, etc. also. 
bacteriocinogenic plasmid this plasmid produces bacteriocin bacteriocin is a toxic protein which kills or limits the growth of surrounding bacteria lacking bacteriocinogenic plasmid if you want to know more about bacteriocin please watch the video overview of bacteriocin link is in the description box below colicin is the most known bacteriocin and it is produced by e coli bacteria E. coli contains the colicin plasmid that is responsible for colicin production and its release. Colicin kills other bacterial strains and ends the competition for E. coli cell. It helps the cell to survive and adapt to the environment. Degradative plasmid Degradative means which can decompose or break down. So, degradative plasmid carries genes that release Certain enzymes that can degrade compounds that are not commonly or naturally found in nature, such as toluene and salicylic acid. Enzymes released by such genes not only break down harmful and toxic compounds, but also help bacteria to digest and utilize them. Thus, it aids in environmental detoxification. Watch video on bioremediation. Link is in the description box below. Virulence plasmid Virulence plasmid harbors genes that are responsible for formation of certain toxins, enzymes or adhesive molecules which can invade host cell, disturb the immune system and cause the disease. Bacteria having virulence plasmid not only able to cause disease in humans but in plants and animals also. For example, TI plasmid is the virulence plasmid present in Agrobacterium tumefaciens bacteria that causes crown gall disease in plants. There are other types of bacteria that have ability to transfer genes from one bacterial cell to another. Based on that, plasmid can be classified as conjugative plasmid and non-conjugative plasmid. Conjugative plasmid Plasmids have genes that facilitate their transfer to other bacterial cell is called conjugative plasmid. Conjugative plasmids contain TRA gene that helps in the transfer process. The presence of conjugative plasmid enhances the genetic diversity in bacterial populations. They provide advantageous traits to other bacterial cells such as antibiotic resistance. Example of conjugative plasmids are fertility plasmid and resistance plasmid. Non-conjugative plasmid Non-conjugative plasmid lacks TRA gene which is necessary for transfer process. They depend on conjugative plasmid to facilitate their transfer between bacterial cells. Example of non-conjugative plasmid is colicin plasmid.